Uh, hello students, welcome back to 10th English Online YouTube channel. Uh, this is me Chandrasekhar CH and I am the faculty of English. So dear students, in this video we are going to discuss about a new lesson that is from 10th English textbook unit 1 part A, Attitude is Attitude. Ok students, and before going to start the video, I request you all to subscribe to my YouTube channel. You enter youtube.com slash 10th English online. You also follow us on Facebook and Instagram pages. Okay, friends. And let's begin here. Unit 1. The theme name is personality development. Can you students try to tell me what is the meaning of this word personality development? Do you think it means you know building the body, right? The personality, right? No, not at all that. And the meaning for this word is building the character, personality development. It's like you no know, in this area. So personality development, nothing but the building character, building our behavioral skills. Okay, friends. And under this uh, theme, we have three topics. First part is uh, attitude is altitude, and part B is every success story is also a story of great failures. And third one is I will do it. Today we are going to discuss the part 1, part A, attitude is attitude. And see friends, uh, <coughs> we'll go to the face sheet of this uh, unit and here three pics are given in the face sheet and the first person is Sudha Chandran, a classical dancer and uh, pick 2 is about uh, Stephen Hawking. And pick three is uh, about uh, Helen Killer. So, can you students try to tell me who these people are, and what is the common quality from these three people? First one is a dancer. Second is a scientist, and third, of course, is a writer. Fine. And can you tell me, children, these three people have one great quality? What is that? The willpower. Though the three are disabled personalities, they were all disabled. Sudha Chandra, she lost her legs in an accident. And uh, Stephen Hawking, he confined to his electric wheelchair only. And Helen Keller, she lost her sight. And of course, now she was a dumb, right? And though they were all uh, disabled, but they excel in their professions in the society. What made them, what qualities made them to excel in this, you know, in their professions. They are the qualities like willpower, strong determination, dedication, consistency and most important, perseverance. These qualities made them successful in, this, in their professions. Okay, right? And, we'll start the part A. The lesson is, attitude is altitude. So this is the lesson tells about a disabled man called Nick Vujic who was born in Australia, right? So before going to start this lesson, I condensed the entire lesson into some uh, important key points. We'll learn the key points, you know, point by point, you know, key points. Right, as the title suggests, attitude is altitude and See here, the first one is Nick was born on 4th December in 1982 in Melbourne in Australia. He was born as a torso. Torso means you know, the body with the trunk and head only, having no legs and no arms. Okay. And his parents are Dusanka and Burislev. Both were Serbian immigrants who came from Yugoslavia. And at the age of 18 months, his father had put him in the water tub to train him how to swim. So Nick learned how to swim at the age of 8 months, nothing but one and a half year only. And Nick had learnt typewriting at the age of 6 years old. And at the age of 8 years, he went to his mom and said that he wanted to kill himself due to the humiliation caused by the students in his, his friends in his school. 
and at the age of 10 he tried to drown himself in the water tub but luckily he was out of danger he came out of danger and at the age of 13 he read a newspaper article about a disabled man who had managed to achieve great things in his life and help others and that inspired him a lot and then he realized his purpose why God had made him like that. And in 1990, Nick won the Australian Young Citizen of the Year Award for his bravery and perseverance. Nick did his Bachelor of Commerce degree from Griffith University at the age of 21. Just 21, he finished his graduation. And he founded Life Without Limbs. It's an international non-profit organization in the year 2005. And he started an, a motivational speaking company called Attitude is Altitude in the year 2007. Dear friends, our lesson name is Attitude is Altitude. It is a company name that he founded in the year 9, in the year 2007. Okay. What is the main aim of this company? They deliver the motivational speeches for all the disabled people like Nick. He tried to motivate the people who are like him. That's why he founded a company called Attitude is Attitude. Whenever somebody asks you, what is Attitude is Attitude? Don't say it's a lesson name. You tell them it's the name of the company which was founded by Nick Vujic in 2007. Okay? And in the year 2010, he acted in a short film called The Butterfly Circus, the most interesting short film. You don't forget to watch this film, okay, friends? And finally, he got married to Akane Miyahara in the year 2012, and he settled as a speaker, motivator, writer, etc. And at present, he had two children. Fine. And let's enter into the lesson. So friends, once all of you close your eyes and imagine that you woke up in the morning and when you want to, you know, scratch your eyes, you found you have no hands. You found you have no hands. How do you feel? Right? And you want to see, you want to go and see in the mirror. So. You put your legs down, you, you try to get out from the bed, then you notice that you have no legs. How do you feel then? Right? It's unbearable to imagine. Yes or no? Absolutely yes. And imagine now you have no arms and no legs. Do you think your life is possible? Do you accept this kind of life? No, never. We all will never face such a life as well. But Nick Vujic, he accepted his life like that. A man who was no, who has no arms and no, no legs, right? So Nick Vujic was born with no arms and legs, but he doesn't let the details stop him. The details have no arms and no legs. That didn't stop him to go forward in his life. The brave 26 years old, who is mainly a torso, a torso, just now I told you, a body with a trunk and head on. He plays football, goal, swims and serves despite having no arms. Can you people play all these things? You have the arms, you have legs, we have, we have all the, you know, body parts, but we people never play all the games that he plays. Yes or no? Yes. And Nick has a small foot on his left hip. On his left hip, he has a small foot. He casts him out of chicken drumstick. That helps him to balance and enables him to kick. And he, he, used, he is one foot to tie, to write with a pen and pick things up, you know, with his toes. See, he has only one foot on his left hip. And he uses his foot to tie, to tie, to write with a pen and to think the, you know, to pick the things with his toes. And uh, Nick says here, I call it my chicken drumstick. Chicken drumstick. The food in the shape of drumstick, chicken with the, with the flesh and blood, okay, it's called chicken drumstick. He says in a funny manner, okay. And he was born in Melbourne in Australia, but now he lives in Los Angeles. And I would be lost without it. 
without it. So try to understand this as no, this statement. I would be lost without it. I would be lost. His life is everything without it. It refers his him, his food and his left hip. It refers to what? His small foot and his left hip. Okay. And if you if you can't get a miracle, become one. Nick Vujicic. And due to his faith as an evangelical Christian, Nick has chosen to remain as virgin until his marriage. Although he has had a long-term girlfriend in his past, though he had long-term girlfriends, he chosen to become a virgin, to remain as a virgin because he was a, an Orthodox Christian, a pure Christian, right? And he is very modest, but he gets marriage proposals from women all the time. Said Nick's friend and the publicist Steve Apple from Los Angeles. He has a close friend and publicist called Steve Apple. He said that Nick was a modest person, modest, a very simple, a man of simplicity. Still, he gets marriage proposals from different people, right? And he would have, he would love to get married and start a family, but he is waiting for the right girl to come along. Of course, he could love. Of course, he could love and to get married to start a family. But he was uh, searching for the right girl. And at present, he got already married and he had two children. Okay, friends. Sorry, four children. Next. So, water sports aren't Nick's only thing. He also plays golf with the club. Water sports, like you know, surfing on the water, is not only his his favorite sport. He also plays. Golf with a club. Club means a stick. So keeping the stick, keeping the club here under his under his arm, you know, here. So he used to play the uh, golf, right? Taking under his chin, keeping the stick under his chin here, he plays the club. And he was a huge fan of English Premier League, like IPL. It's an EPL. So it's a league for which he used to contribute. Uh, the poems, the articles, you know, his speeches, right? And okay, 